How did uh, Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps influence you? Geez, I mean, there's, there's things I'm still learning from this day. Uh, I mean, till this day, especially because I've gotten thrown in the, into the comparison boat, which I do not think is fair to Michael or myself or the swim world, two different types of swimmers. But there's more things I understand of how Michael work and operate, worked and operated, kind of not on the same level that he is, but a similar level that Michael was of just his approach to training and I think his overall obsession with the sport. I think that's why he was so good. He was, I think, genuinely addicted and obsessed with swimming. I have gotten to that point, but again, the, the goal this year was to have that balance. Um, and then Ryan was super chill, laid back. He was so hard to beat in practice, though. He could just turn it on. He could turn it on like a switch. And, and you swam with him for a while. Yeah, I trained with him. He would have made the team in 2020. Um, when he wanted to beat you, he would beat you. And just picking up on, on these cues and practice of, of him being able to turn on that, that killer mode. Um, and me learning from that. Ryan's biggest thing was how he approached the kids. Anytime a kid wanted an autograph, it was getting signed. Um, no matter how late Ryan did stay after a meet. And I was one of those kids. I don't really remember it, but he took the time to sign something for me. And it's just weird because now I'm in the boat signing stuff. It's weird for me because I don't consider myself to be that, that guy. I don't want to be the guy in swimming. I don't consider myself, myself to be that. Ryan had the same approach. Ryan, every year, he would take the world standings and he would cross his name out at the top of the list and he'd write it at the bottom. He wanted to be the one chasing. He didn't want to be the one being chased. Ryan was terrible in high school. He just worked, he was self-made. He worked, he was Florida made and he was self-made. He turned himself into something that was the best of the best in the sport of swimming. If we didn't have Ryan or we didn't have Michael, I don't think you would have seen world records like we have. Those two pushed each other to a level that I don't think we're gonna see for a while. Why do you avoid the Phelps comparisons? It's not fair to Michael, it's not fair to me, it's not fair to the sport. It's two different swimmers. Michael swam everything from 100 free, 100 full high, all the way up to a 4 a.m. He's the GOAT, he's the best to ever do it. I think if the Beijing Olympics was spread out over a longer period of time and he had more rest between events, um, I think he could have won, I think he could have been the best in the world at 10 events, truly. I'm not as good of a swimmer as Michael Phelps and I'm fine with admitting that. I don't have that type of skill set. I think I'm faster than I'm short course. Um, I'm faster than I'm at the sprints, but it's one skill set versus the other. I'm not gonna win eight gold medals. There's not, I can't, there's not even eight events I can swim. Michael won eight, so now the next guy in line has to win nine. That's not fair to anybody. Like, I think five's still pretty darn good. Um, but now yeah, I'm not done there. There's still things I wanna do in this sport. What's the ceiling for you? I've never been one to sh want to share goal times. Those are very, very private to me. But yeah, there's, I know I can go faster, and that's why I'm still showing up every day in practice looking for those couple tenths or hundredths, whatever it may be. I'm, I'm, I just enjoy the process of putting in the work. And then, like I said, it's kind of the, the, the racing is just kind of a byproduct. The part I really enjoy is the training. Even if a guy like Phelps is now retired, I mean, don't you have the same mentality in terms of you know, going after records he, he set? No, that's not, that's not why I'm in the, in the sport. I don't want to compare myself to anybody. I think that, I can think I'd be pretty detrimental. I want to compare myself to what I feel like I'm capable of. And that's, that's what it is, point blank. If, I, if my standard is Michael Phelps and I never reach that or I surpass that, then what? Who, then who do you compare yourself to? I think you can only compare yourself to what your potential is and what you're, you're capable of doing. And that's right now what I base my goal times off of, not anybody else. I think if I hit my goal time, and I still touch the wall second, I think I'd still be happy, which is a huge debate because some people would just be like, no, I could go slowest time I've ever gone and touched first and got a gold medal and I'd be good to go, but I don't, I don't think I'm that way. How did your performance in Tokyo compare to your goals? I didn't hit any of my goal times in Tokyo. Yeah, I think that's a, the easiest way to put it. It makes me sound like ungrateful, but yeah, there, there's races where I didn't hit my goal times and I wanted to go faster and things I should have done better. That was my first instinct after coming home and that's not fair to myself. That, that's not fair at all. Like I just, just won five gold medals on the, the biggest world stage in, in sports and I'm thinking about how I wish I would have gone faster in certain events. Usually you're trying to motivate someone to be better than what they think they can be. And now you got a guy that's as good as or better than anyone and he never thinks it's good enough. I think that's what makes me great. But I think that can also be detrimental if I want to have longevity in this sport, is you have, there has to be a balance of both those. It's one of my biggest faults is I, I, I 
don't do as good of a job as I would like to do, giving, giving myself credit when credit's due. But I still think there's, there's times out there that I'm capable of going. That's why I'm so hungry in the sport. And that's why I still want, still want the guys next to me pushing me. Like it's, it's fun.